In this video, I want to show you how you can edit a PDF document using the only Office suite and using the PDF viewer and editor within the package. Now, if you found the video on YouTube, I will provide a link below that allows you to click on the only Office so that you can install it on your system. And now it is a multi platform, it can be installed on Windows, Mac, and Linux, and also it can be installed on mobile devices as well. Now, I didn't put it under the PDF utilities, uh, even though it has a PDF utilities, it's part of the only office suite down here I have links to LibreOffice and I do use LibreOffice as my main office suite on my Linux system here there's also WPS office if you'd like to install that but I'm going to be demonstrating the only office so if I right click on that and choose to open office you can see here now while that's loading up as you can see here you can put MS office on a Linux system by using wine or play on Linux I used to have this on my system but I uninstalled it because I only use a uh, my LibreOffice is my main office suite. Now the only office is a good suite as well, but I do like the free PDF editor. LibreOffice has the draw on it, but I think this is a little easier and looks more like stuff uh, or looks more like a PDF editor that you'll be familiar with. If you click on the download link, as you can see, I'm on the desktop system. If you're on a mobile device, you can choose your mobile device. You can install it on Winic, Lin Windows, Macs, Linux, uh, and other platforms. Here's for Windows you can download. Uh, here's also for Windows installer and you can choose the for the 64-bit uh, and then your 32-bit as uh, executable files as well. For your older Windows XP and Vista, you can install it from here. Your only office for Macs is here. Now for Linux, you got the Debian and Ubuntu, and that's what I would be installing if I want to install it by the Deb package. For your RPMs, you can download here. If you're using the Snap package, you can install it from the Snap Store. Flatpak can get it from FlatHub. Now I actually downloaded the app image, so on my system I do have the app image, which runs as basically a standalone it's not installing and getting dependencies on my system if you'd like to go to the github website you can click the github link on any of those and you can read more about it or you can click the releases and download version 9 on your system and it was updated five days ago from the time of making this recording and I chose the top one which was the app image now once you download the app image remember to go right click properties and go over and choose it as an executable file so that it will run on your system now I do have it already loaded this is the PDF viewer and editor now on the top link if I click onto it I already had it uh, one open and I went through and, and kind of meant and modified it before I started this video now it's on 100% zoom let's make it a little bit easier to read by going to 150 now as you can see here you can make comments on it it's mo more like an annotator by default if I want to go to editing mode I can choose the editing mode here or I can go over here and click the edit PDF file button and then I have multiple things I can do to it I can click the edit text and start editing the text I can insert a page I can like insert a blank page I can rotate a page so if I wanted to rotate this page I click to rotate it right or I can choose to rotate it left I can delete a page and before I started video or uh, video in this or start recording this I actually had one more page at the end of it and I deleted the page and so I did like this and when I saved it I remember I well I saved it with a page missing but I can go back and undo what I just did so that I do have the previous page back on here but I don't need the, all the 20 some questions that I originally had I can insert a text box so if I want to insert a horizontal text box or vertical text box I can click text box here I can click on an area that I want to insert a text box and I can make it longer and I could say like read carefully and or I could just type in what I want and if later I want to decide I want it somewhere else I can move it around uh, I could resize the box uh, and I can even delete this text box so uh, you can add a text box on a pre-existing PDF file you can insert an image so I can insert it from a link on the internet or I can insert an uh, image from what I have on my system so if I, since this is talking about earth I can insert a, a clip art image about the earth and I can resize it move it around so I could say water evaporates and falls back to earth as rain or snow what's the primary source of energy that drives this cycle then I have my A B C D and I could use the image of the earth here if I decide I don't want that I could just press the delete after I selected it you can insert shapes into your uh, your PDF file so if I wanted to insert like an arrow I could put where I wanted the arrow inserted 
this is a much bigger area than I wanted so I could resize it make it any size that I want and I could put it at certain things like there's the answer so if I wanted to make an answer key I could put arrows beside all the answers so I'm gonna delete that the key thing that most people want to do when they're editing a PDF file is by editing the text so by choosing edit the text as you can see here all the text is selected now and I guess this is one reason what makes it a little slower when it loads is because it goes through and identifies what's text and what's not text what is an image so that way that would make it slower to load let's say for example that my goal was 6.l.2.1 and I realized that this is actually 2.3 I could go in there and delete that put 3 and as you notice it matches the same type of text if it didn't you could drop down and choose the text that's on your system uh, so that it matches what's on your system but it should scan and identify the type of uh, font that you have now I'm gonna go back and change that to 1 uh, let's say for example my S of Sun I don't want that to jump out making the students think well that's the answer because it's capitalized so I can delete the capital S and put a small letter S there so I can click away from it and it's now edited the text that you see here now I can't edit the image I could save that image edit it and insert it back into the document but this is not a, a, a image editor it's just a PDF editor now you as I said that you have multiple things that you can do into the selecting the PDF and edit it but this is just what I wanted to focus on I don't want to focus on the the word or the PowerPoint or the Excel uh, version of this I just wanted to focus on the PDF editors because a lot of times people wants to edit a document whether you're using Windows Mac or Linux and this is a great little PDF editor I even like it actually better than the Office LibreOffice Suite, the Draw, because as you can see here, you can click on something. Let's say for ecosystems, and let's say for example, I had that ecosystem and realized I wanted to add an S to it. I just simply click on it, put the S, and when I get done, I can go up here and click Save, and I could save this file. So if I wanted to save that with the small S, then that way, if when I go to File Close, when I open it back up. It takes a while because, like I said, it's uh, scanning through. And as you can see here, when I zoom back in on it, my son is now small letter instead of the capital letter. So you can go in here and edit your PDF file, and it looks very close to the original PDF file that was on the system. Hopefully this video has helped someone, and have a great day.